Across Greece, highways are empty as drivers avoid dozens of blockades set up in strategic locations. Lucky lorry drivers move along side roads, but others have been facing interminable delays. The farmers want state support to counterbalance falls in the amount they obtain for their produce. They also want price cuts on fertilizers and seeds and a freeze on debt payments. This man says he's worried that the young generation of farmers won't be able to sustain a living and that the industry will collapse. He's talking to the leader of a left-wing opposition party who's on the farmers' side. The local leader of the farmers' union says that the situation is so serious that none of his members are in the mood for retreat. The Greek Prime Minister, George Papandreou, has appealed to the farmers' sense of patriotism and has urged them to call off the dispute. He says the blockades are damaging Greece's international reputation. And during this time of economic crisis, the last thing the country needs is for its credibility to be further eroded. Historically, occupants of the Agriculture Minister's office have capitulated to the farmers because they have so many votes. But the current minister has no room for manoeuvre. We are fully at the sound of the problems of the Greek farmers, but uh, really, at this moment, on the national level, we have to face the economical crisis. This is a vital test for the government, as it struggles to convince critics that it has the determination to enforce austerity measures. Mr Tsipras says, the Prime Minister should come out and say to the European Union, you may want tougher measures, but Greek farmers can't take any more. The farmers plan to escalate their action. Any sign of weakness by the government is likely to endanger its standing with the credit rating agencies, who have the power to make life even more difficult for this country. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Central Greece.